What's up guys, it's Ophilly215 here, and last night I had an alright 1v1 match that I thought I would upload for you guys. So, um, it was on the 1v1 map release, and in the beginning of the game I sent a Warthog to the middle to collect supplies. He sent a Warthog over to my side to collect my supplies, so I'm trying to beat him to that. I send the Warthog in the middle to his side to collect his supplies now. I sent two over to mine when I happened to run into him over here, or his Warthog better yet. I ram his Warthog, start collecting the supplies again. Uh, he then takes off. Um, I'm still making, uh, I'm not making Warthogs anymore. I send my other Warthog back because now he's getting chased by two more Warthogs. Um, I decide to regroup. Um, I believe my Grenadier should be coming in at any time now. So now I have three Warthogs, he only has two that I've seen so far. I start building my second reactor. Um, I come back over to see if he's taking his second base, and if he is, I want to see if I could catch him slipping or without uh, uh, Gunner. So I come over here, I don't see him anywhere in sight, so I come back, regroup again. Um, I decide at which point to then start upgrading some supply pads and to take my second. So now I have five Warthogs, I'm trying to make a... Uh, Make it so this one retarded warthog doesn't get hit by the uh, the tentacle-like things on the rebel base. Um, so I'm just upgrading some supply pads. I keep checking the scoreboard to see if he's taking his second base, which he is. He's taking it at the same speed that I pretty much am, so I figure he has the same amount of warthogs as I do. I upgrade my base, start collecting some supplies, and as soon as I'm done that, I send my warthogs over to his side. To see once again if I can catch him slipping. I start building my vehicle depot. Um, I'm coming over here. I happen to run into him. I attack the weakest warthog that I see. I destroy that. Get out of there without losing a single warthog. I come back to regroup again. So now I have one warthog over his. Which I I'm not completely sure of. Because I thought I seen that he had one more warthog than me. But I come back over to the fight again. Since I thought I did pretty well the first time. I come back over. And this time, I see that another damaged Warthog, I destroy that one. So now I've killed two of his Warthogs, I haven't lost a single one yet. Um, I come back, a tank's out now, so I'm sending my tank over, but I'm uh, microing my six uh, uh, Gunner Warthogs first. I come over, and we get into a Warthog fight. Um, it starts going pretty well until my Warthogs go retarded, and somehow I lose a bunch of them. And um, then it comes down to, I have three, he has two, and then I win. I still have two left over, my tank arrives. I start hitting his, um, his newly built base, which for whatever reason and whatever, he upgrades his base, which was retarded. I'm microing my units so I don't get frozen for whatever he might be planning to do. I come back, try to regroup, a gremlin just popped out. Um... So yeah, now I'm just waiting for my units to regroup here. Um, as you've seen, Pedro or THC just invited me to a party, so I'm going to quickly join that. Um, so yeah, I joined that. Uh, there would be actual live commentary in this, but because I didn't switch it so that you could hear his voice, you would just hear me randomly talking to him without hearing him. So I decided to commentate over this episode. Um, so uh, I run into gremlins right here. Which doesn't seem to be a problem because I got tanks, I got gremlins. So he then retreats. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got this in the bag. I got him outmatched. I got some money. I build a base on his side. So I'm like, he has one gremlin. I have two and three tanks. Like, I got this guy all day. Well, little to my knowledge, this guy ends up throwing a curveball. So second base is coming up. My units are still coming in. I got three gremlins now, three tanks. I start building gremlins out of that base. Um, so yeah, everything seems to be going all good. So uh, obviously this uh, this gameplay is sped up also because the, I think the match was like 21 minutes or something like that. So I'm just hanging out trying to get my units up. My next gremlin pops out. So now I'm regrouped. I'm pretty strong. I think I even decided to upgrade my base. I'm not sure. Then the next thing I know I see air and I'm like, oh my god. Because I, I wasn't ready for it at all. I have a bunch of tanks and gremlins and stuff. So I'm like, alright, I gotta get out of here. So I get out. I realize my second base is probably gonna fall. I immediately upgrade my reactor. I start trying to fight the air, which is a retarded move on my part. 
I let him just have free reign on my base so I could start getting out anti-air without losing all my units. So he's just kind of attacking everything on my base. He's not really specifically going after anything. Um, oh, actually, well, he was going after my supply pads. So I, I think I got one anti-air met up with my units. Um, but at, at which point I, I know I'm going to lose the base. Uh, I try to make sure that he doesn't find my units so that... Uh, I can regroup and I have a good amount. And I believe at which point right here, he actually uh, ends up coming to my base, uh, which was great because I had units. So I see one air there. I'm like, ah, no big deal. So I'm about to start moving around and then I see the army of air come in, which just kind of swoops in, doesn't really do much, or at least it looks like right there. I think it ends up coming back in though. Um, so I'm still trying to send my units back over to counter push but he just won't let me um, my units end up making it almost to the middle and I believe he ends up coming back I, I started to heal my units and uh, here it is I start trying to get um, anti-air turrets up but I know I'm not gonna be able to this one anti-air pops out I'm sending the rest back he destroys my vehicle depot I come back with four anti-air I completely send him on the run. Um, I think he's about to run into my other units. Nope, never mind. Um, so at which point I'm like, yo, I got a counter push. Like, I, I mean, he destroyed my vehicle depot. I'm really, I'm really starting to feel the pressure, even though I have anti-air. I mean, he could just keep going back and forth between my base, and you know. So I, I was at this point a little bit worried. So I come back over here. I find him again. So at which point I'm just sending him on the run because I have anti-air. Uh, I decided to build this base again to see if I could keep the pressure off my units while I make a push. Um, at which point he pretty much lets it completely get up. I'm still building anti-air. I end up coming over here. He has all rail turrets and they're just so annoying. Rail turrets just do so much work. I mean, they're just like slowly destroying my units. It's so annoying. So... Now I'm just fighting, I destroy his air pad, I'm trying to get the second base up, still building anti-air. He freezes me, his air comes in, at which point then I freeze him. I try to move out of the way, but I catch most of my units. I destroy two of his air, and I think he only has one left that wasn't frozen. My units get unfrozen, um, at which point I believe I lose a lot of my stuff. Uh, I try and upgrade this base to save me time, because obviously I, I lost most of my army right there. Uh, I'm trying to regroup at the same time while still pumping anti-air. This one comes out. So he comes back. So I'm like, alright, I can't attack him with my tank and my gremlin. So I decide to just try and beef up my base to keep it as li alive as long as possible. I come back in with my three anti-air. At which point I then again send him running because you got to remember I destroyed his air pad. So I mean he's not consistently pumping right now. So I could have him at a steady amount of air. That could be all he has. So I'm still building on my base. It seems to be going good. Uh, at which point now I have a shitload of anti-air again. Um, and I decide to go back and push again. Uh, I see his turret coming back up. So I'm trying to then redestroy his air pad, which I successfully do. But those, those rail turrets are just putting a hurting on me. Like it's just crazy. He's attacking my second base again. Um, I decide to, I believe, come back. Yes, I, I think I'm coming back right here. Um, he's not really doing too much damage. He's just distracting me. Uh, but I'm trying to micro as best I can so that I keep my second base alive while still putting the pressure on him. I'm still consistently building. Uh, I end up leaving three anti-air back at my second base and I start pushing with the rest of my units. Uh, I believe I just started building a supply pad there. My second base is almost completely built. So I come in, use my gremlin, stun that, uh, stun that turret. I start attacking the second turret before it's built. He comes over to my second base. I use my three other anti-air to micro to distract him. Um, that turret was, uh, attacking my, a uh, couple of my anti-air, so I had to move them. But look at this, that, that turret's just hitting me from, like, across the map. It's crazy. So I start attacking this turret, I end up destroying it, at which point I know that I've won pretty much the game, unless he's taken a second base where uh, the second base is on my side, I don't know yet. 
So I start building tanks, I start researching Canny, I pretty much destroyed the rest of his air over at my second base. And I started destroying his uh, second reactor power, which is pretty much, I would say, game for him, because he won't even be able to pump air after that. Um, at, at which point now, the only defense he has is these rail turrets, which are just killing me. They're just so annoying, my tank's going retarded. So I destroy his turret. Uh, I think at which point then he he, uh, he ends up blowing up his base and I win the game which uh, it, it almost went really extremely bad for me guys but uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this quick little 1v1 that I ended up having the other day click the Ophilly 205 watermark in the bottom right hand corner and that'll take you straight to my channel guys where you can check out all my other videos and until next time it's Ophilly 205 PEACE